Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If not, welcome back. And thank you for supporting me. I'm Coretta. In this video, I will be making a rhinestone template using Silhouette Studio Business Edition. You can also use the designer edition, but not the basic edition. The basic edition does not have the functions to convert fonts or images to a rhinestone template. So stick around if you want to see how I did it. So to create my template, I'm going to type out the word phenomenal woman, that's me. I'm going to type out that phrase, phenomenal woman, that's me. And I'm going to, to do that, I'm going to select the A on the left and I'm going to select the canvas and I'm going to type the word phenomenal. And I'm going to select off of it. I'm going to type the word woman and I'm going to select the A and I'm going to select the canvas and I'm going to type the word woman, but I'm going to type that in all caps. I'm going to select out of it. I'm going to select the A again on the left hand side and I'm going to type the word that's me. So now I have my phrase and what I'm going to do is I am going to change the color and I'm going to change the color on this one. I'm going to change the color to black. So to change the color to black, I'm going to go to my paint palette, which is the third icon from the top on your right hand side. And I'm going to select black. And then I'm going to go to line style, and which is the fourth icon on your right. And I'm going to select the line color and I'm going to select none. Um, for the word woman, I'm going to change the color to red. So I'm going to go back to my paint palette on the right and I'm going to select red. I'm going to go to my line spacing and my line color and I'm going to select none. And then I'm going to go to That's Me. I'm going to go to, on the right-hand side, I'm going to select the Fill Panel, which is the third icon. And I'm going to select Black. And then I'm going to go to Line Spacing, Line Style, and I'm gonna, which is the fourth icon. And I'm going to select It. And I'm going to select the second icon on this panel. And I'm going to change the line color to None. Now, for my rhinestone templates, I like to use chunky letters, but you might want to play around with the fonts that you would like to use. I feel like the chunky and the thicker the letters are, the easier they are to work with. And so for that, I am going to change phenomenal to a, um, I'm going to select the seventh icon on the bottom, which is the letter, which is type style. And I am going to change that font to Arial. I'm going to select woman and I am going to change that to Arial black. I'm going to change the word that's me to Arial as well. So now we have our fonts change to the fonts that we want to use and so what I'm going to do is I am going to size this um to my liking so in order to size it um as you can see that when you select the word phenomenal the box is not necessarily hugging the word so it's not going to give you the true um measurements of your word so to get the true measurements of your word you're going to right click on your word and then you're going to hit ungroup and then you're going to select it all again and then select group again and so that gives you a a closer um a closer um measurement it gives you a look as to what the actual measurements could be. So we're going to ungroup woman and then we're going to select it again and group it back. 
And we're gonna do the same thing for that's me. Right click, ungroup, select it all again, and group it back. So for phenomenal, I'm gonna size this. So now I'm just gonna size the template to where I want it to be. And I know that I want it to be about 10 inches wide. So I know I want it to be about 10 inches wide. And let me see how tall I want this to be. Um, probably like about that tall. And then woman, I want woman to be 10 inches wide as well. And I want woman to be really big. So I'm going to make that three inches high. And I'm going to position it here. And then that's me. I'm going to position it over here. But I'm going to um, change this size to um, about, I think about four inches. Because I want it kind of small. Yeah, about four inches right there. Okay, that'll work. So I'm gonna change that's me. Um, hold on, I thought I changed it. Let's do this one again. Okay, let's do that's me again. Cause it didn't change the font like I wanted it to. So I'm gonna change this font to Ballet Harmony. And then I'm going to change the color to black, the line spacing to none. I'm going to ungroup it and then group it back. I'm going to position it over here and I'm going to make it about four inches wide. So then I want to align it. So I'm going to align. I'm going to hold down my shift. I'm going to select the word phenomenal. I'm going to hold down my shift key. And I'm going to align the those two center. So those are going to be aligned center. And then I'm going to align this to the left. So this is the this will be the design that we will now um, work on changing to a rhinestone template. So for this design, I am only going to convert the word woman to rhinestones. The other parts of this video of this design, I am going to make a um I'm going to turn those other words, um, I'm going to cut them actually with HTV. So to convert woman to rhinestones, you have to open up your rhinestone panel. And to open up your rhinestone panel, it's an icon down here and it looks like a little gem. So, um, on here is my last icon, but it looks like a little gem. So here it is over here. Um, so you would select that. And on this panel, we have the rhinestone effects. So on the panel, we have four rhinestone effects. And um, the rhinestone effects are none which will be no rhinestones. So you're going to select your word, which you want to turn into rhinestones, and then you'll select your effect. And you have none, you have edge, you have linear, and then you have um, radial. The line will only outline the word. The linear will put the um, rhinestones in a line format 
and radial will put them kind of like in a scattered method. Then you have your rhinestone sizes to choose from. And your rhinestone sizes that you will choose from is 6SS, 10SS, 16SS, and 20SS. The most popular is the 10SS. So also here you have your rhinestone spacing. Here is the deep, you have your rhinestone spacing. So this, this will determine how close or how far apart you want your rhinestones to be. And for the default, it is always 30, it's always 0 0.039. And um, you can change this to whatever you want to based on how close or how far apart you want it. So the lower the 0, 0.0 number is, the closer your rhinestones are and the the higher your 0, 0.0 number is, the further apart. So then you have the freestyle option where you can freehand your rhinestone placements. And then you have the release rhinestone option. With this option, you can ungroup the design and each circle will become its own individual circle. And then here at the bottom, it has... Um, here at the bottom, it has a rhinestone counter. And what it'll basically basically do is it will count how many rhinestones you need in order to complete your project. So um, that to me is a really good feature so that I'll always know how many rhinestones I need in order to complete my project and I'll know if I actually have them on hand. So for my template, I'm going to select the SS10 rhinestones and I'm going to select the linear fill. And I'm going to change my spacing to um, 0.25. So I'm going to change my spacing to 0 0.025. And that's so that my rhinestones are closer together. You don't have to use just one rhinestone effect. You can use multiple rhinestones effects. It just depends on how you want your design to look. And you would just select the letter or the image that you want to change and then select the rhinestone effect that you want to use. So as you can see here, the, the word woman has turned into multiple circles which represent rhinestones. So in the template, you can see that some of the rhinestones don't necessarily, um, it has like a lot of spacing in some of the spots here. And so, what you want to do is ungroup, you can ungroup each, you can ungroup the words and ungroup each letter so that you can um, arrange each rhinestone individually. So to do this, you would right click on the word and select ungroup. So now you have your word individually. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to fix um the letter N so that the spacing will be how I want it to look when I press it on my shirt. So to do this, I select the letter N, I go over and I select release rhinestones. And so when I release the rhinestones, you can see that now I have all the individual rhinestone circles for, um, they're all now individual rhinestone circles. So what I would do is, um, so what I would do is go to where the, I want to make the adjustment. I would select the circle that I am attempting to adjust. So I'm going to zoom in here so you can see here. So I want to move these rhinestones over a little bit. So I'm going to move them over and just try to adjust them so that they kind of fill in some of the gaps and um, 
don't want to move them too much because you still want your letter to be recognizable. Um, so I moved the circles to where I want them to be. And so now I see that I can probably add some rhinestones in to the into the letter. So what I'm going to do is select a rhinestone. I'm going to hit control C for copy and control B for paste. And then I'm going to take the rhinestone and I'm going to place it right where I want it to be. And I'm going to move this one over just a little bit. So remember when you're placing them, you don't want them to touch each other. You want the rhinestones because when if they touch, when you cut them out, they're going to cut not as an individual circle, but they're going to cut and it's going to be cut together. And so you don't want that. So you want to be able to um, make sure when you're moving them around, just make sure that they're not touching and then make sure that the letter still makes sense when you finish moving them around. And so here I've finished with fixing the end. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of the rhinestones again and I am going to group them back. So I selected them all. I right click and I group. And so now the rhinestones are all grouped together and they move as one. I'm going to do the same thing for the letter A. I'm going to adjust all of my letters because I, I see a lot of spacing in all of them. So I'm going to do the same thing for the A. I'm going to select the A. I'm going to ungroup it. I'm going to select the A, I'm sorry, select the A and I'm going to release the rhinestones. So now I have multiple um, individual rhinestones. So I'm just going to um, move those around a little bit so that I can, again, fix that one. So I'm going to add some rhinestones here. Again, doing a control V for um, control C and a control V for copy and paste. And you can use your arrow key to help you move your rhinestones around or you can use your mouse. I switch between the two of them. And then I'm gonna control V again. And I'm gonna put one right here. And I'm just trying to fill it in. At this point, it's no rhyme or reason to me doing this. I just want to fill in the space so that um, it doesn't look so wonky. And I can't fit this one in, so I'm going to delete it. And then I'm going to move around my rhinestones a little bit. This one as well. Well, no, I think I can use that one. Let me undo that. And I can probably get that one in there. And I like the way that looks. And so I'm going to select all of my rhinestones again on my A. And I'm going to group them back. I'm going to test to make sure they all move at the same time. Release the rhinestones on the M. And then I am going to add some rhinestones in this area. So I'm going to copy and paste and put one rhinestone right there. Paste another one and put it right there. Paste one and put it right there. And paste another one and put it right there. And then I'm going to work in this area down here as well. And I'm just adding rhinestones to the area where I feel like I need to add rhinestones. To fill in my gaps. Okay, let me move this one over just a little bit. Okay, so... 
I kind of like that a little bit. Let me see if I can straighten out some of these lines here. Okay, so I'm satisfied with that. And I'll just go up here and select all of my rhinestones again and group them back together. And then we're going to move on to the O. So the O looks fine. So I don't feel like I need to do anything with the O. But the W, I want to kind of fix that in this area over here and over here. So I'm going to release these rhinestones on the W. And I'm going to move this over. And then I'm going to move this over a little. Trying to get those aligned. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to copy a rhinestone and I'm going to place one right here. Move it over a little bit so they're not touching. And then I'm going to paste another one and put it right here. Adjusting the other rhinestones to make sure that it's not touching. And I'm going to move this around, spread that out a little bit. And then add one up here. Again, moving rhinestones so that they are not touching without distorting my letter. And then I think I'll add one more. And I think I'll be done. Let me see. Let's move this a little bit over. Okay, so that looks a little wonky. All right, I'm trying not to be too obsessive about it. Okay, so I'm, I'm okay with that. And I'm gonna select all of my rhinestones and then I'm gonna group it back again. So once you finish adjusting your rhinestones, we're gonna take a step back kind of look at it and make sure that we're okay with the way that it looks and the way that it looks i am okay with that so once we've made all of the changes you would then need to select the whole word and select group then what we're going to do is again we're going to select the word and we're going to make a compound path and once you make it a compound path, you can then go back and you can change it to the color that you want it to be. And then you're going to select the word phenomenal. You're going to right click that and you're going to make it a compound path and you are going to turn it back to its original color. And then you are going to turn right click and turn these into the that's me into a compound path and change the color back. And so the reason why we turned um, the words, the design into a compound path is because when you upload it into Cricut, you want it to upload into Cricut as one layer. And so making it into a compound path will make it into one layer. And so now we've turned our design into three different layers. We're going to select, um, now we're going to prepare the file so that we can upload it into Cricut Design Space. And to um, prepare the file for Cricut Design Space, you have to save it as an SVG. So to save the file as an SVG, you would select your entire design and then you would right click it and group it. So now you have one whole file and then you would select your grouped file, grouped words, and you would go to your left hand, top left hand, and select file, 
and then you would select save selection and then save to hard drive. Then you would name your file And then you would change your save as type to SVG. And then you would hit OK. So now we have our file. And so um, the next thing that we want to do is to add our design to Cricut Design Space. To add our file to Cricut Design Space, you first want to make note of the size of your, your design. So you wanna select your design and you want to make note of the size of your design. So according to, um, according to the design, if you check your design, the width of your design is 10.123 in width and 5.200 in height. And so you want to make note of that. And the reason why you want to make note of that is because when you upload this SVG into Cricut Design Space, it may not come into Cricut Design Space as the size that you saved it as. And so once you upload it into Cricut Design Space, you're going to have to resize it. And so that is why we're making note of it. So let's go ahead to um, Cricut Design Space and we are going to upload the image. So here we are in Cricut Design Space and to add the template that we just created into Cricut Design Space, we're going to have to upload it. So to upload the design into Cricut Design Space, you would go to your left, the second icon from the bottom, and you would select Upload. You will hit Upload Image. You will browse. You will browse to the location where you saved your SVG. And you will select the SVG and hit open. Your file will come in and you will hit upload. In your recent uploads, you will select your file and hit add to canvas. And here is your design. As you can see, the design is has uploaded into Cricut Design Space at 8.598 in width and 4.417 in height. And according to our silhouette design, our width should be 10.123. Right, so we're going to change the width to 10.123 and hit enter. And then our width should be, our height should be 5.200. And so we're gonna type in the width at 5.200. And that's the size of our template that we created. Now, the reason why when it gets into Cricut Design Space, you want to size your image at the size that you designed it is because you don't want your design to be a different size in Cricut Design Space because when you go to cut out your rhinestone portion of your template, the circles, which, um, are there to brush in your rhinestones will be too small 
and your template won't work. And so because of that, you want to make sure that you size your template to the size that you designed it. So um, once you have it sized correctly, then um, here, because we're going to be cutting this in two different media types, we're gonna cut in HTV and then we're gonna use rhinestones. You want to ungroup your design and then you want to group back the portion that is gonna be cut out in the same material. You can group those back together and then you can um, leave your rhinestone template so that when you go to make it, you can um, cut out your rhinestone template. So we have everything ready to be cut. And to cut this template, you would just go to make it. Here on this screen is where you would prepare your mats. So this, lay, this black mat here is the HTV mat. And so we want to make sure that we mirror the HTV layer. And then the red mat is for our rhinestone um, template. And we do not need to mirror the rhinestone mat because we will be transferring the rhinestones from the template to the t-shirt using transfer tape. So we don't need to um, mirror this mat here. Okay, so since today's video was just to show how to make a rhinestone template, I won't be going into details on cutting this template. If you would like to learn more about how to cut a rhinestone template, you can check out the other videos that I have on my channel on how to make a rhinestone t-shirt. All right, guys, that's all for now. I hope that you were able to follow along with my process. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will respond back. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.